Hi dear students, welcome to Gatewala. This is Satish Kumar Durishetti, Faculty of Measurements and Instrumentation. Welcome to the lecture in one shot series for the electronic measurement CRO. After the successful completion of electrical measurements, we have discussed aeronalysis, PMMC, moving iron, dynamometer, measurement of power, measurement of energy, and power measurement with two watt meter method also we have discussed. Now, the next topic we are going for cathode ray oscilloscope, which is the entry for the electronic measurements. I hope all of you are enjoying these lectures. These are available in YouTube forever. They are not going to become private. So, by after listening this content, please try to practice on your own some numerical problems from your material and the standard textbooks which are gate related so that you will be having more practice and more enthusiasm to do the problems will make you more confident before going for the exam now without any wasting of the time let us see the content today today what i want to discuss topics to be covered i want to discuss the cro blocks next most important is the leases pattern phase and frequency measurements by using the cathode ray oscilloscope and then immediately we will go for numerical problems. What is CRO? Actually what is, what is a cathode ray oscilloscope? So these three informations, theoretical information, basically cathode ray oscilloscope works according to the principle called thermionic emission and it is a vacuum tube in which a beam of electrons is accelerated and passed through electric, electrostatic or magnetic fields majorly electric fields not magnetic fields under the electric fields it will go the electron beam is produced by electron gun located at the beginning of the tube okay so i want to show you the diagram yeah so this is the diagram cathode ray oscilloscope basic diagram of course in gate level we may not get fundamental questions on diagram mostly in gate level we are not getting the questions on constructional features but what is the purpose of cathode ray oscilloscope everybody know the purpose of cathode ray oscilloscope is to analyze certain waveforms and to test certain components electronic components like diode resistor capacitor whether they are working properly or not okay diode in a forward bias diode in a reverse bias so to analyze the waveforms to find out the frequency and phase of the comparatively two waveforms and also to check the components whether they are working or not by using the CR. In cathode ray oscilloscope, these are the various blocks present. The first one is the control grid. So, this is a control grid block. And the second block comes the focusing anodes. We are using the electrostatic deflection concept. So, in which a pair, uh, three pairs, three types of electrodes are present. One is the pre accelerating anode, next one is the focusing anode, and last one is the accelerating anode. So, by these three anodes, the signal is going to travel into the, the electron beam is going to be traveled into the deflection plates. We are having two sets of deflection plates. One is a vertical deflection plate, other one is a horizontal deflection plate and that is going to hit on the fluorocenter screen and which we are going to see the signal. Okay. So, if you see the control grid, the control grid is basically containing uh, one concept called thermionic emission. What concept? It follows thermionic emission. The control grid is having thermionic emission because of the heating the electrons are released. Because of the heating the electrons are released from that particular grid. And remember that particular grid is coated by, okay, that is coated by some material. So, because of that high velocity of electrons are going to come out. Okay, that is a strontium oxide. The material name is a strontium oxide. So, because of the strontium, it is going to absorb the high velocity of elect high velocity electrons which are coming from the grid. They are going to eject it out. So, see, I, I want to show you the major parts here. Just I want to show the major parts here. Yeah. So, this is the heater which is surrounded by a strontium layer so that a high beam of electrons are going to come out like a high beam of electrons are going to be ejected out like this. So, this high beam of electrons are having 
three types of anodes here if you observe the first one is the pre accelerating anode and the next one is the three colors i am using the focusing anode and this is accelerating anodes so three types of anodes are present here so first one this is the pre accelerating anode the pre accelerating anode the focusing anode and this one accelerating anode so this beam of electrons are undergoing into set of plates vertical plates and the horizontal plates but what is the advantage of this uh, pre accelerating accelerating focusing the electron beam which is coming from the grid will be in a dispersive mode just like when the college bell rang all the students will be dispersed from the uh, classroom and immediately when the college bell again rang that means the interval is over again the students are going to be converged to the classroom like that they entering into a dispersive mode because of the pre accelerating anode and focusing anode and accelerating anode we are making the electrons to enter in a straight path into the deflection plates and we are having the vertical deflection plates and horizontal deflection plates this vertical deflection plate we are going to give the our signal actually speaking so cro cathode ray oscilloscope how it works it works based upon the superimposition of our unknown signal on this electron beam so this particular signal is going to come and interface with the electron beam and it is going to make some vertical amplitude development and after that it is going to enter into the horizontal deflection plate these horizontal deflection plates are covered with a, like a time based generator which is going to give a sawtooth waveform circuit which makes that particular signal to be get delayed so that the signal can be traced because as long as electron beam is oscillating vertically up and down you cannot watch in a signal format that's why it is going to be collaborated with a certain delay by the time t is moving from 0 second to 1 second the signal amplitude is going to be shifted to the next section so that you are able to see because of the signal delay tracing you are able to see the continuous waveform otherwise if there is no horizontal we could have seen only the beam vertically moving up and down suppose if i take a plus 5 volts minus 5 volts signal and if there is no horizontal signal then what happens only the electron beam will be moving plus 5 minus 5 you cannot see the horizontal propagation of the signal so that's what i have and one more important point i want to tell you when these electrons are touching this particular screen there is a possibility of coming back because of the collision whenever the high speed electrons are coming and hitting a glass envelope then what happens these electrons are going to become hitting towards the glass so this makes some electrostatic discharge electrostatic discharge this avoids the passage of electrons to repel because these are electrons and in this path are also electrons are coming electrons to electrons there is a repulsive force so because of the repulsion you cannot see the actual signal so to avoid that this particular glass is coated with certain material called aqua dac so this is the aqua dac glass aqua dac glass you know so that particular one is going to absorb the secondary okay na so that aqua dac glass is going to it is internally contains a graphite solution internally it contains graphite solution okay so that's how the electron beam is going to come and one more important thing i want to tell you these voltages of pre accelerating anode and accelerating anode may be around 1000 volts and it may be some 500 volts like this so this may be some 1000 volts and this 1000 volts in between focusing anode should be less why because when it is moving from 1000 volts to 500 volts the beam is going to converge and again it is going to okay my dear so this is all about the constructional features and there is one important uh, see these are the basic components cathode ray tube electron gun assembly deflecting plates fluorescent screen for cro glass and all of which i have explained and one of the important point i want to tell is this deflection there is a small possibility of expecting the question whenever the electron 
ejects out of the deflection plates, there is a possibility of certain deflection. Okay, so this deflection theta makes. See, first of all, let me talk about these are our deflecting plates, and for these deflecting plates, what is the voltage that we are giving? That is a ED. That is a deflection plates input voltage and the electrons which is entering into this from the accelerating anode so that is a ea that means electron is coming from uh, after the accelerating anode only it is entering to deflection plates from the accelerating plates it is entering so that's why ea okay and after that it is crossing it is going to make a deflection theta if you see the length of this particular deflection plate as ld the length of the deflection is small ld and at a distance there is a screen on the screen the beam is going to spot it and the distance from the center of the deflection plate screen is capital L and the deflection at the center to this peak I am taking the radius there is a deflection radius capital D and there is a possibility of expecting a deflection formula here so the formula here is See, these are the words. This ED is EA, sorry, this is EA, that is the voltage of pre accelerating anode. Next, charge of electron, we know mass of electron, VOX, velocity of the electron by when entering into the deflection plates. ED is a potential, whatever I have explained, they are given in the nodes. Okay, D is the distance between the deflecting plates in the meters. So, this is the D, distance between the deflecting plates, and uh, LD is the length of the deflection plates. So now I am taking So now there is a possibility of expectation on the deflection. So what is the deflection? The deflection D that can be given as the deflection D is given as L L D two. So this is the formula. You to remember. So that is a deflection of the electron beam on the screen. That is L L D E D by 2 D E A. So this is a deflection. Okay, where L I told you capital L is the distance from the so this is the capital L. The capital L distance from the center of the plates to this one, and small L D is the length of the plates, and D is the distance between that. ED is a deflecting plates voltage that means vertical deflection plates whatever the voltage that you are giving and EA is the voltage by which it is entering inside ok. So, this is a deflection and deflection will be in meters obviously if you check the units the units will be in meters or centimeters because these are meter square one meter gets cancelled voltage voltage. Next comes the sensitivity. Sensitivity can be given as what? What is the input? The output is deflection and the input for the deflection plate is ED. Yes or not? The deflection sensitivity, what we call this as deflection sensitivity. Call it as deflection sensitivity. Deflection sensitivity is given by D by ED. So this is the D, ED gets cancelled, so we can take it as L L D by 2 D, okay, when you are dividing input by output, why because for example for the deflection plates what you are giving is, 
see for deflection plates there are deflection plates for deflection plates what is the input you are giving is the deflecting voltage what is the output you are getting the output you are getting is this e and this is next comes the inverse of deflection okay okay that uh, we can call it as 1 by s okay 1 by s deflection factor what we can as factor of deflection okay deflection factor that is a 1 by s okay 1 by s uh, here the units are what here the units are oh, meters per volt okay meters per volt and uh, this is 1 by s this 1 by s is called as deflection factor deflection factor the u are opposite a by l l 1 meters gets cancelled or volt per meter per meter per volt per you understand so please make a note on this particular area there is a possibility of asking the questions clearly but don't miss those questions clear are the question so, now if you see the modes basically how the CRO will work based upon the signal that you are applying to the XY plates that means horizontal plates vertical plates you can call two modes YT mode and XI mode in YT mode what we are doing what we are doing for YT mode YT mode what we are doing YT mode what we are doing for the Y plates we are giving y plates vertical vertical plates we are giving the unknown voltage unknown signal sinusoidal test signal and for the x plates that means horizontal we are giving the time signal time signals this is what we call as yt mode next comes the yx mode we can say or xy mode also we can say no problem so here for the y plates for the y plates you are giving the for the x plates also you are giving the test c two sinusoidals two test signals for majorly we are giving the test signal then we are giving and giving the two sinusoidal signals, we are going to get some patterns. So, those patterns are called disages pattern. What we call those patterns are called disages patterns. Okay, so that is what I am telling. So, first, uh, first mode, YT mode, so that means what I mean, Y plates means vertical deflection plates. Try to understand the words. Y plates means what? Vertical deflection PP. X plates means horizontal deflection. Not I am giving. So this is a vertical deflection plate, and this is a horizontal deflection. So for the vertical deflection plates, we are giving the unknown test signal, and for the horizontal deflection plates, we are giving the time-based signal. Then you are able to see the actual signal. So we are going to give see the signal waveform like this. So based on this, what we can find out? We can find out its peak value. We can find out its average value. Can find out its RMS value just like the waveforms, whatever the parameters, peak to peak voltage, RMS factor, RMS value, all average value, we can find it out. Similarly, when you are taking the YX mode, we are going to get the Lissages pattern. YX mode means for both the horizontal deflection plates and vertical deflection plates, we are going to apply the standard sort of signal. So, because of that, we are going to see the patterns like this. Some patterns we are going to, so those patterns are called Lissages. Okay, so 
let us see the scale how it looks like on the CRO the scale will be most important you have to understand by the that is what we call as gratitude the scale or the screen that you are watching in the laboratory so that is called graticule you see the graticule there are number of divisions in the horizontal the same time there are number of divisions in the vertical number of divisions in the vertical also here students each division if you consider as certain centimeters okay now so we can call the horizontal will be called as seconds per centimeter the horizontal is the time and the vertical deflection is our voltage so vertical we can take it as volts per division for example if you see uh, let us take this signal if you take this signal as 2 volts okay now this is a center so these are 1 these are 1 these are 2 plus 2 and these are minus 2 so vertically its division is 2 volts okay now and how many divisions are there actually you take total 1 2 3 4 4 volts 4 volts per 4 divisions 4 volts per 4 division so that will become as 1 volt per division 1 volt per and of course you can adjust that is a 1 volt or 2 volts or scaling you can do is a practical thing in the laboratory we are having that knob by rotating that knob one particular division can contribute 1 volt 2 volts 3 volts like that also we can make it 1 2 5 okay so count the number of divisions suppose number of divisions is equal to 4 note the provision so volt per division is coming as 1 so that is what we call as sensitivity along the y axis sensitivity along the y axis is equal to number of divisions that is a number of volts 4 volts by number of divisions so the sensitivity along the y axis is 1 volt per division you understand similarly we can find out the sensitivity along the x axis that depends upon the time so suppose if you take here 1, 2, 3, 4. Suppose if you take each division, 4 seconds, 4 seconds. If you take the frequency of the waveform, is suppose 1 kilohertz. So, frequency is 1 kilohertz means time period is equal to 1 millisecond. Okay. So, if the frequency of the waveform is 1 kilohertz, the time period will be 1 millisecond. So, the 1 millisecond is occupying 4 divisions, 4 divisions per millisecond. So, that is going to be the sensitivity of the x axis. Okay, so what is a leasages pattern? This is not a leasages pattern. Why? Because we are applied when we are going to get this type of signal. When you apply the vertical plates, the test signal, and for the horizontal plates, we are applying the time based signal. But whereas leasages patterns are different, when we are going to get the leasages patterns, leasages patterns we are going to get when for both the plates we are applying the same signal. That is what I have mentioned here. When both pairs of the deflection plates, horizontal and vertical, of CRO are connected to two sinusoidal voltages, the patterns appear in the CRO are called leasages pattern. That means we are applying the two sinusoidal voltages. So, these particular patterns are called leasages pattern. And this based upon the shape, what we can identify? Okay, this particular shape can change when you are changing the phase difference or frequency. Okay, now based upon the ratio of the frequencies applied and based upon ratio, this ratio based upon the ratio of frequencies applied and the phase difference definitely the shape is going to change my dear okay as we talked leasages patterns now in this lecture i am going to talk about how to distinguish the phase difference and the frequency shift by using the leasage patterns so if you see this the phase angle difference the leasages patterns approach on the CRO screen suppose if you are applying for the x plates and for the y plates see the signal for the y plates taking as signal for the x plates is some sin omega t and signal for the y plates having certain phase difference certain phase difference that phase difference suppose Suppose if you see the phase difference is 0, if the phase difference is equal to 0, that means both are going to be same or if the phase difference is equal to 360, then we are going to get a straight line on this particular quadrant, quadrant number 1, 
and quarter number how you can do it you can apply pi is equal to 0 and you can take what is the values and you draw it it's not necessary to go individually but easy to remember techniques with respect to gate examination when the unknown signal is having a phase shift of when the unknown signal is having a phase shift of 0 degrees or 360 degrees then we are going to get a straight line which is about to pass through coordinates 1 and next for example if the phase shift is between 30 and 330 that means the phase angle for the x plates we are applying em sin omega t for the y plates we are applying em sin omega t plus y. so when this phase angle is 30 and 330 degrees then we are going to get an ellipse so here we are getting a straight line one and three quadrants next here we are going to get ellipse in one and three quadrants okay with the phase shift is 0 uh, 30 to 330 30 and 330 not 30 to 330 30 and 330 okay of course, phase shift is 5, you can take 30 to, 30 to 90 we can take, 30 to 90 also, we can take 45, 350 also we are going to get ellipse, we are going to get ellipse, so always remember particular concept, when the phase shift is either 30 or 330, similarly this one y plates and x plates for x plates we are applying the vm sin omega t the y plate signal is m sin omega t plus okay so this one phi is equal to 45 and 3 ellipse is going to come in the first quadrant and the third quadrant Similarly, 60. And uh, almost uh, what we can say, 0 we will get straight line. 0 after ellipse up to the 90 degrees. But the only thing is the quadrants are going to be, you have to check the quadrants are 1 and 3 here also. So, here also quadrants 1 and 3. Okay. So, what is this? We are going to get ellipse as a pattern. When? Same thing for x plates, we are applying m sin omega t. For y plates, we want to apply em sin omega t plus our phase shift. Then phase shift. Okay, but the point to be understood is the quadrants which quadrants it is coming one and ellipse okay. next but exactly when 90 degrees and 270 degrees that means the signal which you apply for the y plates em sin omega t plus phi for the x plates i am applying em sin omega t the phi is equal to 90 degrees y is equal to 90 degrees and 270 degrees the two signals that means one is a sinusoidal signal other one is a cosine cos wave then you are going to get a circle okay and this particular circle i want to tell you this is a circle we are going to get once one circle 90 270 and another circle we are going to get at 270 90 and another circle we are going to get 270 120 to 240 again greater than 90 once it is crossed 
we are going to get 120 degrees. So y is equal to Vm sin omega t plus 5 and x is equal to Vm sin omega t. So when the phase angle is 120 and 240, we are going to get ellipse. But the point to be remembered here is This ellipse is going to stay in the second quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. Second quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. Keep that in mind. Second. Next. Here, when the phase shift is again going towards 150, We are going to get ellipse. This ellipse is the second quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. Next. Have you observed? Again, we are getting a straight line, but this straight line is the second quadrant, the fourth quadrant. We are going to get. Dear students, try to imagine the situation how to remember. I will give a table, better to have a table for why we are getting Vm sin of 30 plus phi. For x, we are applying Vm sin of 30. The, the phi is 180. Right? Okay, dear. So, how to understand this table? Let us take in the form of table. Take the table, better to have a table look so that you can have an idea. And the phase shift is changing. I want to give you the quadrants in front. Okay. So here I am taking a shift. Shift. And here the Lissage's pattern. Okay, and here the quadrants. Okay, let us see step by step. We are having the same information, just at 0 and 360, we are getting the straight line, or not? At 0 and 360, getting the straight line. Then phase shift is 0 degrees. And 360 degrees, we are getting what pattern? Okay. Which quadrants we are getting? Quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. Quadrant 1 and quadrant. Next. Similarly, if you see from more than 0, less than 90, okay. More than 0, less than 90, we are getting the ellipse, but in the ellipse, we are getting in the first and third quadrants. Okay. So, phi is more than 0, less than 90. What we are getting, my dear? We are going to get an ellipse. 
they are going to get ellipse quadrants in quadrants one and three one and one and one next at 90 we are going to get a circle okay at 90 a circle and at 270 also we are going to get a circle 90 and 270 what we are going to get we are going to get a so this is full code for circle there are no quadrants is completely occupied next if it is more than 90 less than 180 what you are going to get take it more than 90 less than 180 you are going to get a ellipse but the ellipse will be in which quadrants right me more than 90 less than 180 we are going to get the ellipse in which quadrants are getting quadrants 2 and 4 and finally at 180 we are going to get again a straight line 2 and 4 okay that is the way here and above 180 and less than 270 we are going to get ellipse last one also i can write I can take the last one above 180 less than 270 also ellipse so mostly you try to remember at 0 and 360 we are going to get a straight line at 180 also we are getting a straight line at 0 360 we are getting a straight line first and third quadrants and at 180 we are going to get a straight line in the second fourth quadrants and uh, 0 to 90 and 90 to uh, 0 to 90 we are getting an ellipse at 90 and 270 we are getting the circle circle we are going to get my dear it's the pattern okay try to understand this particular time this one save your time in solving the gate questions this is possibility if it is having any phase shift okay and if you want to go for the frequency and how to understand the frequency shift so for frequency shift measurement of frequency we are going to have a lissages pattern so when when we are going to get this frequency concept both are having same phase but the point here is the x plates maybe vm sin omega t frequency differ and vy signal frequency also differ omega 1 and omega 2 differ so in that situation if you want to know the frequency relationship there is one technique two techniques i can give you draw the tangent to the particular pattern i will give some examples so that you can understand in next slides whatever the uh, diagram you are getting that for that particular diagram draw the tangencies tangencies touching the surfaces so how many number of tangencies happening horizontal how many number of tangencies happening vertical so if you check here this is the diagram the formula but the technique how to remember this just uh, we are not going for the proof we are just remembering f pi by fx that is a frequency of the y plate signal to the frequency of x plate signal can be given as number of horizontal tangencies that means how many number of opposite it is vertical but here we are taking the number of horizontal tangency number of horizontal tangencies that means how many number of touchings are happening horizontally and here number of vertical tangents information so useful please collect it in the form of a notes it will save your time definitely every year we are getting the questions next you see another formula sometimes sometimes the diagram may not be sometimes the diagram may not be complete the diagram may not be perfect 
there may be some improper shape also it not it may not be closed loop closed pattern it may be some half of the pattern also in that situation tangent this may be confusing so at that moment we can take the intersection concept that also will explain f5 by fx is called number of intersections number of intersections of lissajous pattern with horizontal line number of intersections of lissajous patterns with the vertical line okay so that is a point so uh, anyway whether f5 by fx ratio if you are taking means you have to take horizontal intersection by vertical intersection. okay this is a point you have to understand horizontal vertical intersection is it clear opposite if you are taking y you have to take horizontal we will go with an example that will save over time for example if you take this picture so this is an ECHS pattern in two methods I can do one is the tangency method this is an ECHS pattern when I get a, the signal which is applied to the X plates the signal which is sorry the signal which is applied hello listen the signal which is applied to the X plates the signal which is applied to the Y plates both are differing with respect to frequency then we are going to get a certain pattern it is not like a straight line not like ellipse straight line ellipse circle these will come for the phase shift but it is not about the phase shift it is the frequency shift in this situation how to do it so in this situation what i can do if i draw a intersection the intersection first we will go with intersection so these are horizontal line see remember when you are drawing these lines of intersection points, this line should not cross through multiple intersecting points. That means drawing the vertical line here is wrong. It is the wrong way. You should not draw the intersecting line through a common point. We should not draw the intersecting line through a common point. That is the problem. Uh, that is a note you have to find. Okay. So what we have to do is this one draw a horizontal draw a vertical so frequency along the frequency of y to the frequency of the x can be taken as frequency to the y to the frequency to the x can be taken as number of intersections point number of intersecting point horizontally by number of intersecting point vertically I'm writing shots number of intersecting point horizontally how many number of intersecting points horizontally 1 2 3 4 by how many number of intersecting vertically is 2 is to 1 that means what frequency of the y plates is 2 times of frequency of the x plate this is a point you have to understand frequency of the y plate should be equal to 2 times of frequency of the x plates this is one method other method is the tangencies method i will go for tangencies red line take no line tangencies means touching only this Touching only the what you say edge points. Okay, on edge. Completely. Okay, dear. So if you take now F five by F X number of horizontal tangencies by number of vertical tangents horizontal tangents how many here here one tangency is happening here one tangency is happening touching and one so then it's matching now by equal to two got it yeah let us move for the next so if you see this one how to do it have you observed it is an incomplete one when you are drawing the incomplete one, 
better to get the perfect answer if you want to get it is an incomplete list it is not a closed one right previous one was a closed it's a symbol of eight like a, a, a infinity symbol it's a closed list pattern but this is not a closed one yes sir it is not a closed one so in this situation what to do here if you draw the horizontal like this and if you draw the vertical i cannot draw the vertical here or here but you can draw anywhere but it should not pass through any common intersecting point so this is again now if you see the points f5 by fx number of horizontal intersection points divided by number of vertical intersection horizontal intersection points are 3 vertical intersection points are only 1 frequency of the y 3 times of frequency that's it frequency of the y is 3 times of frequency clear other way tangencies method but if you see the tangencies method there is a problem here it is not a complete one you will mistake possibility number of horizontal tangents vertical tangents in the tangencies if you see this is is it a complete tangent here this is a complete tangent when the complete tangent here but this is not a complete tangent. Got it? So that's the point you have to understand. That means what? Number of horizontal tangencies, how much you are going to get? This is one half. And if you take a vertical tangency, vertical tangencies, how it will come? Vertical tangency, the vertical tangency. But this vertical tangency is also not full. Okay, so if you take that picture, so it will be horizontal tangency one plus of vertical tangency. Can you take it full? We cannot take full, it is half. So it will be 3 by 2 into 2 by 1. Right answer is. Got it? This is the way you have to understand. Clear? So, once again, keep in mind when you are going with a horizontal point, there is a possibility this is complete touch, but it is not a complete touch, so half. It is vertically, it is not a complete touch, so. Next complicated diagram. If you check, so how to draw this? Take the intersection points. So F Y F X number of horizontal intersection points by number of Intersection. Horizontal intersection points 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right? Vertical intersection points 1. So it will be 3 by that means F5 equal to 3 by 2 times of F. To get the clarity, I will go with the tangencies method. For tangencies, what I will do, I will draw the tangencies complete. This is a closed one, so we can take one tangency. One, two, horizontally. And vertically here, one, two, okay, so F5 by Fx equal to number of horizontal tangents 
by the number of vertical tangencies. So number of horizontal tangencies how many? 1, 2, 3 divided by number of vertical tangencies. Got it? Clear? Chal, last one. So, this picture, if you see, draw the intersection point. See, first for your clarity, I want to show the intersection point. Actually, wherever you draw the intersecting line, the intersecting line may go to the common point. It's going through the common point is error. Going through the common point is error. That is not preferable. Your line should go not through common point. Okay. So, that is a point. So, that is why I have taken like this. See, this line is cutting here, but here not common point here. Okay. So, now let us let us take the concept of intersecting points. These are horizontally intersecting and these are vertically. Okay. So, now F phi by F x number of horizontal intersection points divided by number of vertical intersection points. How many horizontals are intersecting here? 1, 2, here 1, see here 1, 3, 5, 6. Vertical intersection points 1, 4, 5, 6 by if you take the tangencies method number of horizontal tangencies by number of vertical tangencies take it so 1 3 s yes. color Four. Okay, na? So, number of horizontal tangencies one, two, three. The so one, two, three, four. So we'll get three. You understand? This is the way here of that. Most, yeah. The last one, let us see this one. Interesting. So, this is a not a complete one, it is an incomplete picture. It is an incomplete picture. So, for incomplete picture, if you draw, so these are horizontally going and these are vertically going. Yep, y by fx equal to number of horizontal intersecting points, number of vertical intersecting points. Horizontal intersection points if you see here, the so 1, One, two, three, that's fine. Five right here. One. Take. The method of tangencies draw the tangents of vertical 
वन कॉल यू आर गोइंग टू गेट वन ऑफ राइट ऑफ मीन टू से टू प्लस वन बाई टू फाइव बाई टू यू आर गोइंग टू गेट वन प्लस वन बाई टू राइट टू प्लस वन बाई टू फाइव बाई टू थ्री बाई टू going to become 5 by 3 that's what i was talking this is 1 2 3 4 5 wrong here 4 with 5 here 1 2 right answer is 3 please make a correction here one more intersecting so this is the way to solve the lissages that okay Thank you.